What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me today. We're, today we're going to talk a little bit about PlayStation and PlayStation's future. I know a lot of people are excited about the PlayStation 4 Pro. Some people not quite so much. I know tons of people are excited about the Xbox One Scorpio and I, I'm super excited personally about the Nintendo Switch but I digress. PlayStation 4 Pro is the latest incarnation of the PlayStation brand. We already have confirmation from Shuhei Yoshida. Mark Cerny has already talked about it. What am I talking about? The PlayStation 5. Now, this is something that I have predicted uh, that we will see or at least uh, expect around holiday 2018. Everybody laughed at me during the Beastly Thought Show. They shouted me down and told me, they said, Hearsay, Beastly Gamer. There's no way that Sony would do that. I 100% think that Sony has the PlayStation 5 cooking right now to combat the Xbox One Scorpio. They know they can't do it with the PlayStation 4 Pro. The 4 Pro can't even run native games at 4K. It can run some games. Uh, frame rates aren't even matching the vanilla PlayStation 4. So they know that with a 6 teraflop monster that's going to be the Scorpio, they gotta have something that's gonna combat that beast. And the PlayStation 5 is going to be their answer. My prediction, I'll say it again, I predict that holiday 2017, we're going to get an announcement from Sony, probably around uh, the PlayStation experience, of what the PlayStation 5 is going to have inside the box. What's in the box? But in the meantime, I want to bring you guys some of the latest information from around the water cooler about the PlayStation 5 and what Mark Cerny has said about this potential looming beast. I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation 5 release date, news, and update. Will Sony use an 8 teraflop GPU in the next generation console? Find out here with the Beastly Gamer. There are a lot of rumors and assumptions surrounding the much-awaited PlayStation 5. In fact, in a statement by video game designer and lead architect of Sony, Mark Cerny, he revealed an invaluable inclusion on the specs of the next generation PlayStation. Mark Cerny hinted that there's a big possibility that PlayStation 5 is set to have an 8 teraflop GPU. Quote, Natively render at 4K is a personal estimate, but at the very least, 8 teraflops become necessary. Although the inclusion of an 8 teraflop GPU in PlayStation 5 is not yet confirmed, Sony might try to exceed the features of Microsoft's Project Scorpio as it announced that it would have 6 teraflops on the GPU. It is said that the latter video card is enough to reveal perfect 4K games, but Mark Cerny insisted that 8 teraflops of GPU power is much needed to smoothly run with 4K resolution. Meanwhile, Gaming Guide recently reported what rumored specs PlayStation 5 might have. It has been said that it would carry, as expected, VR compatibility with 4K resolution. It was too speculated that it would carry carry AMD Radeon chipset along with 1700p HD video support. As Sony will try its best to make PlayStation 5 stand out from the rest, it might go head to head with Microsoft's Project Scorpio. There are also swirling rumors that it might have two models, one with the use of discs and one with no need of a CD drive. Furthermore, there are also assumptions that PS5 will be seen in 2018 as hinted by Wall Street Journal reporter Takashi Mochizuki on his Twitter page. Quote, PS4 Pro. Wait, what about PS5? Macari's Damien Thong, who also correctly predicted PS4 Slim and Pro, says PS5 may arrive in the second half of 2018, end quote. So make no mistake, the PlayStation 5 is going to be here. I I'm just like this article, I said this before this article, the PlayStation 5 is probably going to be somewhere announced next year, the end of the year. They're going to announce it before the Scorpio actually drops. That's a smart thing to do. If Sony wants to maintain that mind share and keep their fan base with PlayStation, before that Scorpio drops, they've got to drop the bomb and say, uh, before you buy this thing, the six teraflops, look at this eight teraflop PlayStation that's going to play all new games made for PlayStation. Imagine the next, you know, Last of Us, the next God of War, you know, all these great PlayStation franchises on the PlayStation 5. It's not going to be doing all the straight backwards compatibility. It's going to be new experiences made for a new generation of gamers. That's what Sony, that's a smart thing to do, in my opinion. And so that is the latest bit of news and, and really speculation on the PlayStation 5. I'm super excited about it. I think next year is going to be really incredible anyway. You know, honestly, 
out of next year, even me buying the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Scorpio, the thing I'm most excited about right now is the Nintendo Switch. When I hear about the PlayStation 5, I'll probably be more excited about that. But as of right now, Nintendo's got my heart. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. The PlayStation 5, yay or nay? Do you think they're going to keep the PlayStation 4 Pro around for a couple of years and let the Xbox Scorpio just destroy uh, and, and really take tons and tons of that mind share back from PlayStation that they worked so hard to get with the PlayStation 4. I don't think so. I think that they're going to make that announcement next year. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support me by going to BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.